This is our Mark II GTI, which two months ago had been sat in a barn for 20 years. We pulled it out of that garage, replaced the engine because the old one was blown, got it road legal, and now tomorrow is the final test. First thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna take it on a 1500 mile road trip to the place where this thing came from before taking it on a fierce lap of the Nürburgring. What could go wrong? It's soaking wet. There's nothing on that dipstick. We had some like quite chronic rattling. We're losing cooling out of somewhere. Hey, Brandon, you're going to make me poo my pants. <laughs> <laughs> we were already off to a bad start as Edwin was yet to turn up. Where's this long boy? Where is the big fella? There he is. Yeah. What is this? Why have you got a Mark 8 GTI? Who built this car? We did. Exactly. Support car. And you've I, got such a little faith that you, you've yes, got, you've got, 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 got such a little faith. You've got How many times did it take us to fit brakes to this thing? You? That was your job. Yeah, exactly. I don't trust me, <laughs> so I haven't got this. Volkswagen gave this to us so we could drive it back to the factory with its older brother. What time are we leaving? Four in the morning. We'll see you then. Bright and fresh as a daisy. All right, I'm taking this thing, man. Okay, I'll take this. With our support car secured, we set off at the crack of dawn the next morning for our Mark II GTI's trial by fire. Nobody has any business being up this early in the morning. <laughs> this will wake you up though. You do not want to drive this sleepy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> this is not one of those cars where you can just hop in and it does all the work itself. You are very much in control of this vehicle. And I'm not particularly fresh this morning, I will say. <laughs> I do love driving this car. It is very good when it wants to be. Guess we just see how far it makes it now, seeing as we put it together. Let us know in the comments, where do you think we'll get to? Yeah. Can I type one out? <laughs> <laughs> Folkestone. <laughs> You any yeah, there's some Polaroid lookers in there, which um, they came and eat uh, Edwin's latest car that he bought. Right, get me on this train and get me a coffee. With 150 miles of trouble-free driving down, we safely made it onto the train and headed for the continent. But first, Edwin had a surprise for us. Just after we bought the car, and I knew we were gonna do a road trip at the end, I thought, if we're doing it 80 style, we have to do it properly. I've bought us some clothes. Ethan, I think those two. Jack, you like an 80 shell suit? Let's get them on. All right, let's get them on. This is a good surprise. Yeah, come on. Yes. Look at you. Jeez, Jack looks actually 80s. Like that's, Jack is just a human from the 80s. I just look like I sell. Also, I bought this shirt for one of you, and it, uh, now I've ended up with it, and it's the tightest shirt on earth. You look like the top half of you is going skiing, and the bottom <laughs> half of you is going to Hawaii. So I've got to Germany instead. All right, we're dressed apart now. Almost to Wolfsburg, to the factory that this little thing came from 38 years ago. 38? 38 years ago, that's about right. Yeah, 85? Yeah, oh my word. What speed should we see we can get up to in the Euro tunnel? 70? <laughs> We've made it! Bonjour! <laughs> the Golf is in France. It lives in France. This is France. Now dressed for the part, we get off the train and hit the French roads, making a beeline towards Wolfsburg, where the Mark II GTI had started its life nearly 40 years ago. Edwin, did you wash these clothes? Absolutely not. So you can't tell us the history of these garments or where the scent is coming from? I can't tell you about the scent, no. I can tell you that they were all listed as 80s vintage clothes, so they are from the 80s. Who's been wearing them between now and then? You know, n nobody knows. Well, thank you anyway. Everything was going perfectly right up until we stopped for a fill up on the outskirts of the Dutch border and noticed an interesting puddle under the gulf when we went to leave. That's where the gulf was just parked. See that? We're losing cooling out of somewhere and a bit of oil out the top, but. I'm just enjoying my nice cold chocolate milk, the best chocolate milk. I'm not worried about any of this. We've left a little puddle of coolant over there, but I say we'll crack on, we'll see how much worse it gets. Should we do another hour and then let's see let's see what the old levels say. And then we'll leave us to the side of the road, all get in the Mark 8 and, and go home. Head home. Right, I, sweet. I like it. As long as we get another bottle of chocomel on the way back, then I'm happy. Confident that the coolant issue wasn't anything pressing, we hit the road again. However, just a few minutes further on. What was that noise? I don't know. Yeah, there's something rattling and it sounds like it's 
very, very bad. That was like engine. Was that when you had fuel on your gas? That was only when it was on the gas, yeah. Doesn't seem to do it when I'm in neutral. Wondering if it's gearbox related. Gearbox. Uh oh, something's gone wrong. If that's pull in. We're on the hard shoulder in the Netherlands somewhere. All right, should we have a quick look and just see if there's anything? Let's just see if there's anything obvious. Nothing immediately looks wrong. Let's limp it up to a... Let's go to our proper services yeah. and get off the road. Uh, we had some like quite chronic rattling coming on, but it, it doesn't seem to be doing it in neutral, so we think maybe it's gearbox related. So if we limp it up to our services yeah, okay. and we'll just see what's going on. Well, we just knew that was going to happen. After giving the car a proper once over with nothing appearing to be wrong, Jack made a discovery. Edwin, start it up. That's our noise. So wait, let it leave it there. Leave it where I want to sit. Yeah, that's yeah, our noise. That's our noise. <laughs> it's the okay. This has been broken since we got the car. It's the bloody bonnet stake clip. Do you want an extra zip tie just to be sure? Nah, I'll be all right. Bloody hell! That gave me a heart that attack, man. All right, quick test to see if it's done. Oh, it sounds so it good. It sounds so sweet, doesn't it? What a car! <laughs> Roadside engineering done, we made it through Holland faultlessly. Hey, hey boys, we're in Germany, boys. We're in Germany. We're in Germany. Fought through a little German traffic, but while at a quick stop in Germany, we made a worrying discovery. I think we're fine. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You know what? She's not as pink as she was when we left. She's weeping around the old... Um... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We've got a little bit of the old... Is it usual that you stop like really frequently and check that your car's all staying in one yeah, piece? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the old school style of motoring. Ethan, how are you feeling? Is the Mark 8 going to break down? You want to top up some coolant? Do you reckon you need to check the oil in that? Hey. There's nothing on that dipstick. Where the f***'s it gone? You have the oil that was in the back of here, right? No. I put it in the Volvo. Sorry, actually, not just the Volvo, your Range Rover as well. Cars need oil, man. What do you want me to do? So we need to make our way to a petroleum or fixing station. Yeah, we need some oil ASAP. Well, that's great. We need some within like the next 40 foot. Jack seems to believe that if he keeps checking the oil, it will magically come back. So I'm finding a service station for us to quickly go and get some oil at in town. Jack is probably going to take the dipstick out and go, there's a little bit more in it now. Jack? Yeah? What are we saying? There's some on there. Some on there to, st to do 200 more miles to get to... I don't know about 200 miles. But... There you go. All right then. Off we go to the petrol station. You're going pretty f keen with that. She needs some oil, my man. Jack, what notes are you getting from this from in here? Pine nut. Pine nuts. You know what it is? Is it smells very fuely. It does smell very fuely. Oh, I thought this engine was good. I think it's the only engine we got, so we're going with it regardless. Say, you can only piss with the dick you got. Worse to live by. Just a little dash on top, please. That'll keep her going nicely. That'll keep her lovely. I look forward to getting through that in about 150 miles. Yeah. Now just 200 miles away from the Wolfsburg factory. However, the soaking wet conditions weren't doing the Mark too much good. Oh, oh my God, the headlining soaked. Look, you see it running down my... Oh my God. Yeah, it starts at that B pillar. Okay, so what does that mean? That means this door seal is not in properly. Ethan's been so proud of so, It's the thing he keeps saying as well. Yeah, he keeps saying about like the headliner. He brought it up in the MOT. Look, it's actually, it's rolling down. Thing down my arm. Random question. What's your favorite part that you're involved with on this build, Ethan? Obviously, headliner is everyone's favorite, so we can't count that. Uh, so I'll go with the, the rear uh, tail light that I fixed. Oh, listen, I don't really know how to break this to you, Ethan, but Jack just happened to touch up, up by the headliner, and I'd say it's, it's wetter than currently outside the car. Yeah, it's sopping wet, man. Okay, very, very interesting. If, if it's any illustration for you, I'm currently watching water drip from the headliner down onto Jack. Look, we got that from eBay. Whoa! Oh, that, was that was a big old lightning. Man, Ethan, you've, you've upset someone with this headliner. Yeah, we, you've, you've, what have you done? You did it with me. I didn't do anything wrong. This might be the worst weather I've ever driven in. This is yeah, it's great. A great car to be doing it. Yeah, the old wipers definitely can't keep up with the amount of water that's coming out of the bloody sky. It's soaking wet. This is why you take your car on a long journey after doing a semi-restoration. Are right, you ready for this? Yeah. It's, ra it's raining more in here than it is out there. <laughs> Great. Well, with that, 
an hour and 57 to go. Once the rain had cleared up and my pants were dry, our spirits were lifted by the fact that we were getting closer to the Mark II's home. So high in fact that we even persuaded Ethan to have a little blast on the de-restricted section of the Autobahn. Here she comes. As we pressed on, we started to see Wolfsburg registered plates everywhere. There are just Volkswagens everywhere here, yeah. except that Fiat 500. Oh, and that Skoda. And that Citroen. And that Mercedes. And that bus. And that bus. We were getting close. We are here. We are in the city of Volkswagen. Look! look this is there. The, whoa! This is the city of V-Dub. Petrol station, just, just two Golfs. And one's GTI. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. Look at us. Who'd have thought it? We made it to Wolfsburg. Not me. That car is back in Wolfsburg. Nothing gets past you, does Nothing it? Nothing gets past you. That, that is an unbelievable observation you just made. <laughs> look at it over there. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. It's making golfs in there. They're absolutely slonking golfs. Oh, silly man. in there. Our unscheduled stops had caused us to miss our evening at the factory. So after parking up at the hotel and grabbing a few hours of well-deserved rest, we woke bright and early to take the GTI the final few miles back to where it had begun its life nearly 40 years ago. That's what you want to see first thing in the morning when you move your car, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so I think someone else has parked here. Maybe from their car roll. What did they do? Park under roll us? Though. What do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> Can we chase this coolant leak? Thing is, every time I look, try to look for this coolant leak, I can't figure out where the f it's coming from. Well, first you have to go start by going under the car. There's no coolant leak under here. That's what I'm saying. We will, however, fix this before we go on the Nurburgring. Ow. It's too early to be fixing coolant leaks. We'll just close that. <gasps> look what's outside when we come out. What, is that a car? That's a Mark 8 GTI. That's a sign. That's a sign that good things are coming. A white Mark 8 GTI. 38 years ago, this car was built here over in that factory where those stacks are. We're not allowed in the factory because, you know, it's a working factory. But this is where it came from. We've dragged it back, kicking and screaming. If thought we'd seen the last of this place, uh -uh. I don't know if we have anything to say about it. These towers here as well, they're full of new cars. They're waiting to go to excited customers. It's a bit like a giant car vending machine. There's a dude down the bottom with a one pound and he puts it in and then that arm goes up, pushes a VW off and it falls down to the bottom. 38 years ago, some customer was excited about this one. It was probably parked around here. Yeah, somewhere here. Waiting to go on a truck to the UK, waiting for some dude from Bristol to blow it up. Stick it in the shed for 20 years. Just bun absolute all the cigarettes inside yeah. it. Yeah. When we pulled it out, I was like, yeah, maybe we get it running and there's a chance it could maybe like go on the road. I didn't think this was ever getting an MOT. I didn't think it would make it here. We reset the trip computer when we put the new engine in and it is now on 727. 727? 700 miles of redemption. So we're not allowed in the factory, but we could check out the museum. Yeah, I think we have a quick walk around, see if they've got a Mark II that's better than this. I doubt Obviously it. Obviously not. I ha highly doubt it. Hi, do you have any Mark IIs that have more rust holes than this? No, no, we don't, sir. <laughs> After walking around the factory museum, we popped down the road to the Volkswagen Foundation Museum that stores all kinds of weird and wonderful one-offs and prototypes. Inside the museum, we found rare things for Edwin to nerd out about. In their secret museum, they got a convertible one. A Carmen gear for me. Who can give me one of these? And even a camper for Ethan. We should do a camper. Out of what? Wood. We then found an engine room that had a familiar looking block on show. This is not dissimilar to our engine. I think this probably has more of a chance of running yeah, than our original yeah. engine did. In a roundabout kind of way, this is in a much better condition. Yeah, they probably installed the clutch right as well. Museum scene, Ethan bought a GTI keyring to commemorate the Mark II's journey home. It's a little things, isn't it? Yeah. And then we got back to business. Where now? Look, we're in Germany. Let's go to the Nürburgring. Golf reunited with the factory it left nearly four decades prior, it was time for our repair work to be tested out to the max. We tried to get the GTI to 100 miles per hour on the de-restricted autobahn. Jesus, is this Edwin coming past now? Oh! Right, our turn, ready? Okay, come on. We want 160 here, Jack. 140, she's screaming. <laughs> 151, down here, we got some help here. Oh, I can't hold it, it's too sketchy. Right. Let me go a nice straight because there's some chronic play in this steering wheel, right? Ready? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, this thing does not feel great going that fast. <laughs> Uphill now, I'm going to need a bit more from you. 145, 156. I think that's all she's got. Wait, this is on the uphill. 
Here we go, Jack. Here we go, Jack. We've got a decline here. Keep going, Jack. One, six, oh. one. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that was an absolute struggle. Oh. 161 kilometers an hour. That's over 100 miles an hour. Very good. Oh. Very good. That is ballsy from Jack. 100 miles an hour in a car that we built with our hands. I wouldn't do that. 100 miles an hour in this feels like 300 miles an hour. <laughs> How's that headliner? Uh, she's dried out now, almost yeah. actually. She's a little bit moist, but we think it's the door seal. Edwin said that you didn't put it back right after you did that. I uh, didn't do the door seal. Mate, I'm just the messenger, okay? If you've got issues with what he's saying, take it up with him. Nah, it's all sunroof, I think, and that was you. Also incorrect, you, you were the last person to mess with the sunroof, but you put the incorrectly installed fabric on it. True. Fair. You keep trying to wriggle your way out of it, but you're not as slippery as you think, Ethan. All signs point to you doing a piss poor job of setting this car up. So, when it was raining outside, it was also a raining inside. Somehow funneling itself directly into my crotch, which was absolutely perfect. And <laughs> I wasn't even in this car. <laughs> now, you're in a brand new 23 plate Golf GTI, which I imagine is really comfortable, isn't it? It's how comfortable is it? It's, it's really, really comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what car I've driven for 14 hours so far over the last two days? Take a guess. <laughs> Pro tip, we're sat in it right now. Okay. Well, it's dry today. Yeah, your handy works excellent when it's sunny as <laughs> outside. It felt amazing running the Mark II along the auto barn with its younger sibling, when just weeks ago it had been sat, unlikely to ever drive again. Cobwebs blown out of the little Mark II, we stopped for a traditional German banquet and pressed onto the ring. But not before we hit a very special milestone. Ethan, how far? from the Nürburgring, are we? 63 kilometers. See, because we're so close, I must let you know that I'm currently about to watch our trip computer flip over from 999 back to zero. We have now done a thousand miles wow. since this car was reborn. But I think the hardest test of all is 60 kilometers away. Yeah, 100%. That Nürburgring's not gonna be kind to it. So we've made it to the Nürburgring, 1,043 miles since rebirth, and we are here with Misha, the expert, who's gonna help show us round. So what's gonna happen is Jack is gonna go no, in the no, Mark II, no, no, and no, no, Edwin's- no. Unfortunately no, not. Change your plan. You haven't driven the Mark II yet. I don't need to drive it. No. Yeah, you, you do. You need to drive it. And where we're better, go on the ring. So you're gonna have the help of Misha. You're gonna leave a little bit before us, and then we're gonna try and catch you in the Mark, in the Mark VIII. Have you ever been on the ring? As a passenger. Yeah, not driving. No. Ah. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Why? What's just happened? No, I guess we're going for a lap then. I, I'm not, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You are. I'm not, I'm not Yeah, you it. are. It'll be fine. Jack and I built it. <laughs> Ethan and Misha would leave three minutes before Edwin and I in the Mark 8. And if they could hold us off for the entire lap, Ethan would get to choose the next car we build. It's actually quite already... What, what are you... <laughs> first time? No. That one. That's the first. We could have had a crash before oh, getting... Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous, I can't do this. I know it's R, but it's not for racing, it's for reverse. <laughs> the reason I'm in the seat is because Jack and I did a rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. And who won, Jack? You did. Anyway, uh, you can accelerate and use all of the available horsepower at your disposal and at your responsibility. Because if you blow up the engine, the cleaning costs oh. might be uh, oh. higher than the uh, that's, the that's my boss's problem. Can the window go completely up? Uh, Not really, huh? It's nearly 40 years old, Mitch. Yeah, what, okay. like, Are you like accelerating? Or yeah, what's yeah, happening? like. Go a tiny bit on the brakes. Uh, enough, you can go on the curb, your first curb stone. Go on it. I mean, on it. What? Oh. Oh, uh, actually, on it? Yeah. Do you want to oh. be a race car driver or? Uh, I don't think it's for me. Yeah, stay on the right. That's tight, isn't it? That's what she said. There is a car behind us, so stay on the right side, eyes on the road, and enjoy the view. You can wave to the family. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, We're going to head out on 34 M5 wagon. Uh, I would rather you concentrate on this instead of looking at the, the wagons. What, with the 996 GT2? Stop, just concentrate on what you're doing, I'm please. trying. I've got, I like cars, man. Let go right curb on the curb if you want to, full race car spec. Yeah. Oh, I'm gone. No. That was not on. That, you, what do you mean that was not on? You, you on. touched it. You a bit nervous, Jack? I'm a bit nervous because it's you driving. How dare you? Stop. Okay, you have another take. Go on the curb. Like, oh, gee, that's on it. Oh, I've accidentally turned my steering wheel heating on. <laughs> I don't need that right now, car, please. How come I'm not overtaking uh, Because anyone? there is no one slower than you. Ooh, Edwin. 
Where's that snail? <laughs> and now, don't break, don't lift, right? Curbstone. This is the fastest section of the track. Am I doing it fast? I don't know what you're usually doing, so if it feels fast to you, then you're doing a good job. Is that Suzuki Alto? No, stop! Here's a picnic spot with oh. a big parking area, but we cannot use it right okay. now. We can't, we can't stop for a bit? Yeah, no, no, no. Steering heel, I don't want my heating on, please! <laughs> At the exclamation mark on the right, that's... Um, actually, don't break. Nah. Don't, don't break? Nah, don't break. Are you sure? Um, no, but don't break. Why, and then why left side, left side on the gas, don't lift. And then you move over smoothly to the right side. Perfect. Okay, I'm proud of you. And now you can go on the brakes. Oh my Okay, brakes. God. My mom is messaging me. Your mom is messaging you? Yeah. Okay. And let go and full left on the curb. More left, more left, more left, more left. Thank you. That... Yes. That's... That's off the track. No, that's on the curb. Jesus, Edwin. This is sick. I've never been on this track before. What? Tight left, tight left, tight left. Yes. Oh We're squealing. Good. We're and squealing. Right. No, we're not. We are squeal. What? I can't squeal. Come on. Hey, Brandon, you're going to make me poo my pants. Something's squealing. Well, maybe it was you, not the car. Oh, we made it like one quarter, maybe. Are you joking? No, I'm not. Are you actually joking? No, I'm not. This was kilometer six out of 21. So Are you kidding? almost one oh third. Oh my god. That here he is, here he is, here he is, it's Ethan Smale. Look at it though, man, he's on the ring. See you later, Ethan. Staying right here on is the ring. That That's them. They've yeah. overtaken me a third of the way in. Yeah, they did. It took them like what five minutes? That's ridiculous. I would have thought he would have gone a little further by now. Yeah. And then after that one more car. Yeet! Biggie. Jeez. Yeah, he's a maniac, I know. Jeez. All right. Oh, we're in comfort mode right now. We've got to change into sport. What? Are you joking? Yeah, Jack, change that into sport. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. There we go. Now we're in sport. I wish we were in comfort. You good? I'm, uh, I'm going to be honest, no. I'm no? just in fifth, basically, the whole time. Oh, you want a downshift? Uh, okay. I shouldn't have had that cheeseburger. <laughs> so let's go above 3,000 RPM at some point, yeah. Yeah, it's a good shout. Oh, we got, oh, we got a gang. Oh, there's a up. whole gang oh, behind us. This? Oh. Wait for it then. Oh my god! Oh, sick. Uh, stay left. Stay left. Stay left. Sorry. Stay left. Tell the photographer. Sorry. That's not left. But... Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's quite right. That's. You're right. That's quite right. See, when you said left, I just did yeah. the opposite. You can also downshift probably because. There we go. Yes. Hello. My steering wheel's so hot. <laughs> I, I'm I'm legitimately sweating because of the steering wheel. I'm sweating for completely different reasons. Is that Skoda? Yeah. He is indicating to the right that he wants us to overtake him. Okay. He's inviting you. Well, I accept that's your that's invitation that's to your yes. party. So ahead of us is the corner of courage. How courageous will you be by taking it? Probably not very. Who's ready for a carousel? In. Jesus! <laughs> Are you all right? Well, we'll be approaching the famous carousel. So oh, we're going to get the carousel picture. Okay. It's gonna be our thumbnail. <laughs> Overtake. Gas. Oh, now? Go. Gas. Oh. But it needs to be in gear. Let me, let me give it a gear. Sorry, yes. Misha. <laughs> I might need to live in Germany. I think I might need you to live in Germany. <laughs> floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Sky rails? Yes. Stay left. Stay left. Gas. Don't lift. There we go. Thank you. I've overtaken well, someone. You did. I've overtaken someone. I'm proud someone. of you, and this is something that your grandchildren won't stop hearing about. They actually in. won't. Oh, yellow. Okay, so oh. we've got to calm down. Now we must calm down. It's just a fiesta doing fiesta things. <laughs> uh oh, he's had a big whoopsie. Right curb, full on the curb, please. Full on the curb, what? yes. Full on the curb. Thank you. Jesus. Good job. Uh, right really side. There? Yeah, no. Oh. Stay right. I think we need about one quarter left. Oh my so God. Stay right. Yeah, staying right. Very good. Very beautiful. That was nice, wasn't it? That. Yeah. Took that one quite nicely. I think. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. It was good. Good. Getting point. into it. Bridge the country. Now. Good time there, boys. You can take the right curb if that excites you. Uh, yeah, it excites me. Here we go. Yes. Oh, Fantastic. Oh, he's done a curb. Without my help. Without your help. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Don't break at the jump, don't, don't break. break. Don't break at all. And oh. right curve. And to the outside, very good. And right side. Jeez, all right. backslipped a bit. Yeah, I don't think it did. I can't know 
the car, you know, I've been with it for a thousand miles. You're one with the car? Well, not really, because it's the first time I've driven it. Ah, okay. Don't lift through here. Oh my Don't word. Don't go on the grass. Oh Don't go on the curb. Oh, this yeah. place is ridiculous. The best place in the world. How many times have you been around here, roughly? Yes. <laughs> We're almost crossing the gantry. Oh my God. Good job. What an experience. <laughs> You did it! Oh my god. Now slow down, please, because I need to cool down. But you need to cool down or the car needs to cool down? Well, usually the car, uh, but I don't think that you punished the car much. Are you, ki are you kidding me? This thing was squealing like a pig. Have you guys not left yet? <laughs> How was your lap of the ring? That thing's mental. What? That is the most mental. This thing? No, that <laughs> that's the most mental place I've ever been. Was it good though? It was good. I, I think, think so. he overtook someone. Oh, no way. Who did you overtake? Yeah. Yes. Octavia. Oh, Octavia yeah. with four people in from Denmark. That's so good. <laughs> Fair enough for getting in and driving it. Yeah. I wouldn't have driven that thing around the ring. No, no Show way. Neither would I. We touched bolts on this. thing. We built this thing. Can I take him for a passenger lap in this? Which went like this. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. big eat. Oh, easy! Look, don't look I away, don't look. To look. Oh, oh. oh, this is too hectic. Oh my god, I don't want to look, I'm not oh. looking. You can go and watch the full lap on Misha's channel, which is in the link in the description. I was worried about you breaking the car, but now I'm more concerned that you've broken Ethan. I know this is definitely out of warranty. Does he have one? <laughs> <laughs> he needs one. No one's returning that. <laughs> But thank you, Misha. Yeah, thank you. We'll, really uh, enjoyed. we'll bring you something interesting soon, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, this was interesting. Yeah, yeah. And it's more importantly about the company that you were. That was amazing. So thank you very much for the good vibes. Well, have a good trip back. Thank you. It survived the lap of the ring, two laps, even with me. Yeah. Engine didn't blow up. We didn't piss all over the track. Let's go and clean ourselves up. Let's go. Nürburgring officially conquered and the Mark II GTI somehow in perfect driving condition. We relaxed for the night and prepared for our drive home the next morning. But not before reflecting on the journey we and our little Mark II GTI had been on. Is this the best Mark II GTI in the world? No, but it's the Mark II GTI that we pulled out of an abandoned garage and got running between a couple of mates, a few weeks of learning and a bit of hard work. And now it's back on the road making us smile and giving us laughs on a trip we had no idea we'd be doing. We started this project thinking we'd be pulling a car out, throwing a battery on it and starting it up. How wrong we were, but we wouldn't trade the ordeal we've had with this GTI for anything. Whether it's us that keep the Mark II or it goes on to a new custodian, it's back in action and not broken up for parts or still sitting in that garage. And to us at least, that's more important than anything else. Taking the car back to the place it was built in all those years ago, along with its newer family member, feels like we've done right by it. Which is something that over the years, we've rarely done at Car Throttle. To see the start of a car's new life instead of the end of it feels better, especially when the time and effort needed to get this GTI back on the road was unlikely ever going to happen. As we trundled our way back through Germany, Holland, Belgium and France, not a single one of us had the worries of breaking down that we'd felt on the way. We joked so many times that the GTI didn't want to live and was fighting us every step, but after watching it bomb down the German Autobahn, around the Nürburgring and, most importantly, drive itself to the factory it was built in, we all knew it was happy to live again. Safely back in the UK, we completed the last few miles, hitting the magic 1500 mile mark just minutes before pulling up to where we'd started exactly 72 hours ago. 1500 and two miles. And two, an extra two just for good measure. Since the rebirth. Since Actually, rebirth. Yeah. Vindication oh. for this car. Yeah. Brought it back to life, gave it one hell of a test. Those miles and that ring circuit, harsh. Harsh on this. But I'm proud of our work. Very proud. proud we did it. It lives. It lives. It lives to die another day. We had a lot of fun with this one. A special thanks to everyone as well that helped us, everyone that DM'd us, everyone that helped us out with parts. Every piece of advice that we've had on restoring this thing, getting back on the road, yeah, it's very much appreciated. Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. Yeah. mate. Kyle. Fifth yeah, member of the time. band. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to watch more videos, click here. If you want to subscribe, down there. Good night, I'm oh, out of bed. Good day. This bush looks comfy. <laughs>